African leaders are excited about the U.S.-Africa Business Summit and its potential for closing lucrative deals, attractive investments, and establishing trade agreements. They are particularly interested in monitoring the progress of the 55 billion U.S. dollars investment commitments made by U.S. President Joe Biden during the previous summit in Washington, D.C. And the United States is committed to supporting every aspect, every aspect of Africa's inclusive growth and creating the best possible environment for sustained commercial engagement between Africa companies and American companies. The United States is all in on Africa's future. And the work we've done over the past two years, building on decades of vital investments made under previous American presidents, has helped make possible the critical steps that I'm about to announce. The U.S.-Africa Business Summit is currently underway with over 1,200 delegates in attendance, including six African presidents, a high-level U.S. delegation, and representatives from various sectors such as banking, investment, policy, and trade. This summit takes place against the backdrop of Africa's demand for equality and fair treatment on the global stage. African leaders, including Kenyan President William Ruto and South African President Cyril Ramaphosa, have expressed concerns about the existence international imbalances and have called for a more equitable negotiating platform and respect for African interests. The there is a need for reform in that regard as well. And the other important thing for this to happen, uh, it will help us not to participate as unequal cousins in these institutions. It will help us to participate fully and uh, so that we don't have a sense that we are beggars, that we are being dealt with uh, out of generosity. I think it's important in the new era that the world is in now. Sources controlled not by IMF and World Bank, because IMF and World Bank, you have the final say. We don't have no say. We want another organization of equals where you have as much say because you pay as much as we do because we also pay that's the organization we are looking for and that is why we are saying we need a new financial architecture where governance where power is not on the hands of a few people ongoing summit themed enhancing Africa's value in the global value chains focuses on key topics such as the African continental free trade area, sustainable energy, digital connectivity, and agribusiness. The U.S. faces pressure to deliver in Africa amid growing calls to diversify international trade and embrace multilateralism. Alternative partnership proposals from other countries such as the upcoming BRICS summit in South Africa and the China-Africa summit in November are being closely observed. Gene Daniel, Smart24 TV, Business Today.